Hey, Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Yeah, I'm actually not in the mothership. I'm kind of on the porch of the mothership. Um, the mothership is not quite ready, but uh, it will be really soon. We'll be relaunching the mothership. We'll be relaunching um, all the videos. Um, it's going to be super exciting. I've got a videographer on board. I've got all this stuff headed, and it's just not quite there yet. So... Traveling Riverside Blues, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Traveling Riverside Blues, Led Zeppelin. Um, little history. The song is a, a bunch of blues tunes, old blues tunes, just kind of mashed together. Um, it has an Elmore James ishy thing. It's got some Robert Johnson lyrics. Um, it, it's stealing from many, many bluesmen. So, just throwing that out there so you know to look up um, Traveling Riverside Blues, look up different versions of this, look up different sets of lyrics. You can really play around with this tune. Um, so, this is a great, great Led Zeppelin thing. It's in Open G. You can play along with it. The album, it's fantastic. So, what do we got here? Three strings, cigar box guitar. G, D, G, 42. 34, 24. Okay, these are all wound electric guitar strings. Um, I will show you my settings on my little cube. I'm using this little cube, isn't that great? So these are my settings, so you can take a look at that. Um, I'm using an X Vive. It's a um, wireless. I really, really like it. Um, they're not cheap, but you know, it's a great wireless tool. I can walk around and do things with it and do my videos. So uh, now we're back. So uh, let's go through some chords and see what we got going on here. So we know we're in G, D, G. I'm playing the slide. I'm gonna put it down. This is homemade, uh, made it myself. Um, it's my first attempt at making one of these and they're, they're pretty easy to make. So there you go. So um, I like to map out where I'm gonna go with the slide, with my fingers, before I put the slide on. I feel like um, getting a road map is important for playing slide. Um, that's just me. So, G is open. G sharp. A. B flat. Important chord in this song. B. C. Important chord in this song. C sharp. D. Another important chord. Okay? D sharp. E. Important chord. F and G, of course, with the two dots, okay? So the way this song starts out is it slides up to G. Just like so. And it goes ba da 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 ba da 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 That's how it starts. So it comes up and it comes back. And this is something you should practice is... Getting that, getting that up and down action, really important for playing this type of, of electric blues. Um, okay? Um, if you can do it with your finger, you can do it with the slide. Um, I have a video on playing the slide. Um, it talks about how light you have to be on it. Heavy enough to make noise. 
but light enough. Um, it's kind of like putting your finger on paper. Just enough to move the paper is the, is the lightness you want to be on this. So I'm um, putting on my slide. I'm going to come up to this fret right here. Okay? So there are the two dots. I'm coming up to this fret and going ba -da 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 -da. And that's the grind you want with this. Up and down. And that's what I call it is grind. It's, um, it has a, 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 almost a squeak to it and it's crunchy and it's just a beautiful tone. That's what you want in this song, okay? Um, being that that is a six string song and this is a three string song, you're not gonna be able to get it exactly perfect. Don't worry about it, the vibe will be the same. Um, find your way of catching that vibe. Um, it'll, it'll really sound great. Um, so we're coming up and going da na 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 na. So you see my hands. Da na 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 na. Okay, practice that. Da na 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 na. That's what you need. That's what you want. That's the vibe. Okay, part two of this song. There's there's three parts to it. That's all you have to remember is three parts. It does a little thing where he goes open G. Flat. And then you're going to slide up from the B flat to C and back. And open. Um, I make it look easier than it is, and I know this. Um, I have lots of guitar students that are like, how do you do that? Well, it's a lot of practice and a lot of fooling around. Get used to this sliding a whole step or two frets okay get used to doing that okay it's easier with a slide but you should still be able to do it with your fingers so it does a banana -na -na. but it being Jimmy Page there's a controlled um, sloppiness inside what he plays. Um, and I know he's not, a sl he's not a sloppy guitar player. This is supposed to be. It's his style. And it sounds a little sloppy. But what he's doing is, is he's throwing notes out at you. And he doesn't care if they're exactly where they're supposed to be. It's, it's a controlled thing. And you know it when you hear it. It's not like David Gilmore where every note is mapped out exactly and all of the bends and everything are controlled. Jimmy Page throws notes at you and throws chords. So that's how I want you to think of his playing style. It's not that it's sloppy. It's controlled anarchy is maybe a better word. But he's doing something like so, where he's not quite on the C, he's a little bit high. Okay, so remember that when you play it, it's just not going to sound quite right because of the way he plays. And so, take that into account as you learn this. So you're going, basically. And if you notice, I kind of tap. That's a technique that you need to get used to um, for playing a lot of electric blues, is being able to tap exactly where you want to be with the, uh, with the slide. And if you notice, the slide is round, okay? And so when you're tapping, let me put it this way so you can actually see it, you're going to tap right on the top of that fret. So you're tapping on top of it, and that's going to help with the next section. Because in the next section, you're going to go from F, E, D, C, B flat, open. So it sounds like... So you're going to do a F, you're going to come down onto the F. Um, you can slide through it. you get a different vibe. 
you do not get the same vibe as throwing it in there and that's what I'm trying to aim for because you're not going to be exactly perfect we're talking about a six string versus a three string there are notes in there that you cannot get um, so I my way of doing it is not to try try to get the right vibe and create the song around the vibe as opposed to trying to get the song exactly perfect so it's an F which is here with your slide or there if you're fretting so here E D C B flat open so it's a So that's kind of how this thing goes. Um, you've got your beginning part, your -da 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 -da, and then your second part, and then your F, E, D, C, B flat. At this point, the song becomes a standard 1, 4, 5 song. 1 being the G, the C being the 4 chord, and the D being the 5 chord. Okay, so this becomes a standard song. So you start out with your uh, first set of lyrics. Open G. Ask my sweet mama, let me be her kid. She said you might get hurt if you, if you don't keep it hid. C, right? Well, I know my baby. I can see her in the dark D. I know my rider C. I can see her in the dark and You can do a little thing here with your B flat If you want, or nothing Or come back up to the that's really the gist of this entire song, um, and that's that's where I want to go with this. The second lyric stays on G a lot. It does. I'm going to Rosedale, take my rider by my side, still barrel house. These are all Robert Johnson lyrics. This song is a mismatch of, or a, just a big mashup of every blues tune that is written, and it's got corresponding lyrics all over the place and this is what Led Zeppelin did is they would take a bunch of old blues lyrics and kind of throw them all together and make beautiful sounds out of them so um, be aware if you want to go back in time and see where all this uh, all these lyrics and all this stuff comes from go back and look at all the old blues musicians this is that that goes back all the way to the probably pre Charlie Patton so you know that type of a, of a jam so look for that stuff um, this is a really cool song um, I really really dig it um, I love Led Zeppelin and I really I you know Led Zeppelin was the band that got me into the blues I didn't start from the blues and move into Led Zeppelin I started with Led Zeppelin and went backwards and uh, it's been a really nice road to go back and forth to old blues and come into Led Zeppelin, go back and come forward and, and see where all these concepts come from. Um, it's really, really fun. Um, so thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, donations, a buck a show is all we're looking for here. I thank you so much. Uh, the mothership is is getting there. It's a uh, it's a funding as well as time issue. So I don't want you to think that you're holding it up, but it helps in the big scheme of things. Um, thank you for subscribing. The channel is amazing. We're at one million views. Um, I never thought in a million years that this would be so cool and so so wonderful. So thank you, you, you so much. You guys are wonderful, you guys and gals. And uh, I really appreciate what you do for us. Let people know when you go to festivals and stuff. And uh, just remember down there in the show notes is a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. And I thank you again for your generosity. And uh, we'll see you again soon.